Hello, my name is John Capobianco, and MCP is all over the news. It's going to be integrated into our operating system soon. Um, more and more community members are making more and more MCPs. I've made a Wikipedia MCP, an Identity Services MCP, the Cisco Pi ETS MCP. Today I'm going to be looking at maybe, you know, something pretty exciting because of the um, uh, convenience it's going to offer compared to traditional ways of operating this system. So if you're familiar with the Cisco data center, they have a software defined network SDN called application centric infrastructure, ACI, which has a controller, an APIC, a policy infrastructure controller, and a spine leaf architecture. Everything is driven through the, the APIC, which then pushes the policy and instantiates objects in the fabric. Now, comes with a GUI and I'll show you the GUI. And it's menus on menus on menus on menus. A real steep, not a learning curve, right? It's just memorizing where things are and how they all connect. But you could operate it for months and months and months and still not figure out every menu system and really memorize it. And So instead, they offer APIs and programmable SDKs and other ways to ideally program your fabric through code. With varying degrees of adoption and success, I've, you know, some forward thinking automated shops do do it all through Ansible or Python or Terraform or other tools. Uh, a lot of shops just use the APIC and the GUI, which looks like this. So we're going to log in. And uh, just to give you a flavor on what this APIC looks like, right, there's menus all along the top, a sub menu bar. And then there's going to be menus all along the side uh, if we get into some of the right like menus like this right there's our pod there's our spine look at all these menus and this is just one menu there's menus on menus on menus in here right so instead instead can we vibe code so here's claude and if i go into my file settings you can now see under developer i have this aci MCP. All right. And if I go to my tools here, we can see that there's 66 ACI tools. I'm going to come back to this idea of 66. There's actually 250. Now, if I go to the code, I want to show you something else, right? So I have this list of URLs and, and the whole APIC, the entire thing is built on APIs. Everything you see, every object is a JSON file, ultimately. So what I've done is made groups. So here's the L3, L2, fabric, right, access policies. Now I've done this to reduce the number of tools the MCP has. So instead of having 250 tools and maybe even four times that for the CRUD activities, we have a couple layers of nesting. I've nested everything that's related to layer two or fabric or contracts or whatever together. And then there are some stragglers, some ones that just simply do not belong in a group. So I've put those just as, um, you know, standalone uh, calls. Now, you know, LACP instances here, maybe I'll group those. VMM, I should probably group all of those. I thought I had a VMM group. Uh, I thought I had a VMM, oh, VPC. So anyway, more and more, this will be groups and groups and groups. So then in my main code, right, this is um, a fast MCP implementation. It's only 200 and some lines of code. I'm using this list and the groups and the URLs to come up with those tools. Now we've seen it in Claude. So let me close this file and let me go ahead and bring up my copilot. So then let me start a fresh copilot here. So in my copilot agent, if I go to my tools, we can see we have 84 selected tools. I've deselected some of these tools, including PyTS and ICE uh, and Wikipedia and the subnet calculator, but here are all the ICE ACI tools. All the tools for ACI, all right? And now I can do something like this. How many tenants 
do I have in my data center? Enter. Now it's going to go ahead and invoke the tenants. And there's the 16. Yes, can I get their names? Right? And it's using, right, going to, going to go tenants get. And we're going to get those tenants. And there's the list of the tenants. All right, now maybe we could create a tenant. Can we add a tenant called created by MCP? I have never tried an add. Uh, the tool should be able to add the tenant. The, ch the tool should be able to do this. Okay, I got a little ahead of ourselves here. In VS Code, if I do Control Shift P, user settings under JSON, in my MCP section here, I've added this ACI. So we're gonna start it and look at the output and we can see that it's registered 172 tools. Now if I go to my toolkit, um, I can only have, we can, we can try this. I, there's going to be an error that there can only be 128 tools. So let's get rid of some of these other uh, implementations. Since we're not dealing with PyETS or ICE right now, we're only dealing with MCP. I see. I'm going to adjust this and just comment out the delete just for now. And um, we're going to try that again. Let me restart it. There's a limit of 128 tools uh, currently in VS Code, and I haven't seen a way to, um, uh, to, to adjust that. It should be less than that. Yeah, 119 tools. That's better. Okay, so we have 118 tools, which is under the limit. So where did we leave off? Let's try to create, can you please create a tenant called um, via, uh, how about created by MCP via VS code? You may not include hundred more than 128 tools. Hundred and nineteen selected. I don't have hundred and twenty eight tools. That's a weird bug. Um, let me just deselect some of these then. Let me deselect all of them. And we'll go with just tenants. Tenants. Tenants post, tenants get. And we're going to try this again. There's the payload. And it's going to use tenants post. Uh, yes, try again, please, with the ACI APIC JSON structure. Weird. Weird that it had an error there. Let's try that again. Authentication issue, maybe? Bad request. Let me come back. 
Okay, minor, minor hiccup. I It was more my end on the tools. So in my tools, now I've got this wonderful create tenant um, along with, um, right, so we have the tenants and now I've got this create and get tenants from the root perspective, right? So can you please create a tenant in my data center called created, uh, how about uh, made by MCP VS code. So now this should find the right, the right tool. Yep. Yep. Continue. And then over here, So yeah, it made it and then it got it. So if I hit refresh here, we should see right here, made by MCP VS Code, created via VS Code MCP. All right, now to see this in another place, in my code, in my client, my MC Pi ATS code, we're going to bring up the container here and I've integrated this MCP into this code, right? So from my uh, MCP ETS code here, we're going to call the ACI MCP and discover the tools. So I'm going to start that up and we're going to look at this in Docker. And there's the ACI MCP. And here's my client, and it's created all those tools. And now I should be um, binding those tools to the LLM. So here's all the tools that we've discovered, and everything's been bound. And now I can do similar things, right, from Streamlit, let's say. Uh, so... Uh, how many bridge domains do I have? And it's going to go and talk to the APIC and tell me how many bridge domains I have. And we could create bridge domains and all the rest of it. 40 bridge domains. And I get a table of them. All through VibOps. So now we've got PyTS, ICE, Catalyst Center from the community, ACI, just remarkable. Let's see the table that we get of the bridge domains. So there's all our bridge domains in a table, right? Without any Python, without any scripting, without any clicking, 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 clicking. So there's ACI. Um, I will be posting this up on the web and all over the place. And uh, I'm really excited about this. We're starting to have so many Legos that we can actually plug them all in and basically run an enterprise network now, including the ACI data center.